Proudly we hail. From New York City, where the American stage begins, here is another program with a cast of outstanding players. Public service time has been made available by this station for your Army and your Air Force to bring you this story as proudly we hail the officers and men of the United States Infantry. Our story is entitled, The Day Nothing Happened. It's a timely, exciting story of action that might now be taking place in far off Korea. Our first act curtain will rise in just a moment, but first, young men, if you're interested in continuing your education, here's important news for you. You can be trained in one of the world's finest technical schools for a career that will be of great benefit to you for the rest of your life. Right now, the United States Army has an urgent need for qualified technicians to operate and maintain the many kinds of equipment developed by science for our modern armed forces. Today, men are being trained in such varied fields as radio, radar, meteorology, mechanics, electronics, photography, and many others. As Army specialists, these men are embarking on careers that offer wonderful opportunities for advancement, high living standards, valuable experience, and liberal retirement benefits. In the Army, your future is made secure by a generous retirement plan that costs you nothing. You can retire on a steady income after completing 20 or more years of honorable service, civilization, paid vacations every year, ample recreation and good pay all add up to a high standard of living for members of our Army. A career in today's United States Army offers excellent opportunities for young men with intelligence and ambition. For full information, visit your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station. And now your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hail production, The Day Nothing Happened. <laughs> The greatest war stories are never written. They take place during some explosive hour of time, thousands of miles away in some unknown field with a strange name. And the principal characters are usually unaware that the truth of their immediate situation is far more dramatic than fiction. This is the story of an infantry soldier, Sergeant Ralph K. Wilson. One day, Sergeant Wilson is going to become a fine engineer. But Sergeant Wilson, like thousands of other young Americans, is taking a rain check on his personal hopes and dreams, because there's a more important job to be handled in the immediate present. Hello, East Coast Electrical Products. Oh, Marge, how are you? Huh? Oh, nothing. Uh-uh. Oh, I got a letter from Ralph this morning. Yeah, he's all right. He's in the infantry now, you know. Well, you know, Ralph, he'll never tell you anything anyhow. His mother and I always compare letters, and they always start out the same way. Today, nothing much happened. Things were a little noisy last night, but that's about all. And then he writes some more, and, and love and kisses Ralph. What do you hear from Jerry? Huh? <laughs> Honestly, Marge, we got ourselves engaged to two of the most talkative fellows in the United States Army. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll meet you for lunch. Bye. Uh, did you type the letter to Brown and Company yet, Miss Morrison? Oh, no, sir. Uh, do it right away. It has to be on Mr. Brown's desk tomorrow morning. Uh, heard from Ralph? Got a letter this morning, Mr. Smith. How is he? Uh, fine, he says. Now, I wouldn't worry if I were you. There's a boy who knows how to take care of himself. <laughs> oh, uh, send the letter out, special delivery. Yes, Mr. Smith. T. 
Dearest Jane, well, here it is another day. It rained this morning. There's a law, I don't know who passed it, but there's a law that says it has to rain every day out at the front. It rained this morning, not much, but enough to be legal. Hi, Wilson. What's happening out here? What should be happening? I'm writing a letter. Oh, sorry to interfere with your love life, but the old man wants you back at the command post. What's happening? What should be happening? Rumors? Rumors? Not even a good rumor. Smell like a patrol? For me, you only get facts, kid, and I ain't got one to my name this morning. Okay, boy, take over. And listen, keep your head down. You're not sitting in Patty's back on State Street. See, now you done it. You went and made me homesick. There's hot coffee on the lamp, Sergeant. Fill yourself a cup. Thank you, sir. This is a patrol, Sergeant Wilson. Yes, sir. Take three men with you just as soon as it gets dark. Move out to the front and find out where the commies have set up the main line of resistance. We heard a lot of movement out there last night, and regiment has an idea they might have pulled back a thousand yards. So let's find out. Any particular three men, Captain? Yes. Take Collins, Greenwald. That'll give us experience. And your third man should be a new replacement. A hobbot Shazinkowitz. <laughs> Beats me how you can pronounce it so easily. Okay, he'll do. Any questions, Sergeant? No, sir. Eddie, get out to the line and relieve Collins. Tell him to report back here to me. Greenwald and Shazinkowitz are in the same foxhole I want them to. Tell the guys who are dug in on their left and their right that they'll be responsible for that much more terrain tonight. Patrol, Sarge? We're not going to the senior prom at dear old Rutgers. <laughs> yeah, I won't make my varsity letter this year. Cheer up, Eddie. What were you, just defensive linebacker? Out here, you're promoted. You get to play offense and defense. Greenwald, Collins, three of us have been involved in this type of thing before. Shazinkowitz, this briefing is mostly for your benefit. Uh, uh, let's call him Schick. By the time we get out, the rest of it will be tomorrow morning. Okay, Greeny. Now, the deal is, we're moving out as soon as it gets dark. We want to find where they've set up their new line of resistance. You mean the four of us are just going to walk out there, huh, Sarge? Well, we're not going to just walk out there, Schick, but it's going to be something like that. Yeah. You got any letters from home on you? Your wallet? Leave them at the command post. Stay close to us, Schick, and you'll be all right. Well, what are we supposed to do? Nothing, Schick. Just find out where they are and come hightailing home. Well, suppose, for instance, they do start shooting at us. Then what, huh? That's one of those things you can't answer till it happens. So, are there any questions? Yeah. When is the war going to be over? The gentleman from Illinois is out of order. Where's Schick and Greeny? I told them they could go back for some hot chow. They'll be here any minute. Uh, does the line know we're going out? Yeah. Uh-huh. Wilson, uh, Schick's kind of scared. Bad? Pretty bad. Uh, has to be a first time for everybody. Remember your first patrol, Colin? Huh. Funny, I can't. I guess 20 years from now, I'll be sitting home watching television, smoking a big cigar. This whole thing will come back to me. Boy, I'd hate to be your wife and kids. War stories will be coming out of their ears. Oh, I'm going to write a book. Did you know? Autograph my copy and I'll buy it. You are going to be the villain. Give me a cigarette. Uh-huh. Thanks. How about a match? Say the word and I'll even smoke it for you. Hi, Sarge. How do you feel, Chick? I ain't ashamed. I feel scared. That makes four of us. If you want to smoke, this one is all we're going to have time for. Now, when we move out, I'll be first. Chick, you'll be in back of me. Greeny, you to the left. Collins, out to the right. Keep low and have an eye out for possible cover if we have to hit the dirt fast. You from Detroit, Chick? Oh, I'm from Hamtramck. And I wish I was back there. You will be. Someday you'll look back at this and laugh. Look, Chick, 
Can you taste your breakfast? Yeah. And that cigarette, does it feel like it's something that you found up in the attic, been laying there for years? How'd you know? And how did that nest of butterflies get lost in your stomach? Man, those butterflies are heavy, too. Well, it all goes to prove you're healthy. That's how you're supposed to feel. Man, if I feel this way when I'm healthy, how do I feel when I'm sick? Just stick close to us. Keep your eyes open. You'll be all right. Wilson, now is the hour. Okay, we're going for a walk. Follow me. Don't shoot back, Shake. Don't get scared. They can't see us. Just hug the dirt. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to cough. I, I couldn't help it. Yeah. It should be just over that little rise to the right. I can't be sure they even hurt anybody. Let's wait till they calm down. Sarge, what are we going to do? Just stay here and don't move. But uh, how long? I don't know. Ten minutes? An hour? Maybe two hours? Don't worry about that machine gunner. He's just speculating. We can get hit just lying out here. He has to shoot over our heads. That little rise of ground is good cover. Yeah, but there, there is a chance we can get hit, huh? Don't worry about it. Chances are one in a million. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's great. What's the matter, Chick? You're talking to a guy who once won on a sweepstakes ticket. You are listening to the proudly we hail production of The Day Nothing Happened. We'll return to our story in just a moment. It shall not happen here. That's the unspoken prayer of every man in the United States Army. That's the unspoken reason for our growing military might. But the time has come to speak. The time has come to tell of that small phrase, those five words, it shall not happen here. Let us speak only to those young men of America who have not taken pause to think. Let's shout it in a voice that will reach into every city and village across the length and breadth of this great land. Young men, you are needed. You are needed to help preserve the peace. You are needed to serve in your United States Army to ensure for your loved ones that it shall not happen here. And while you serve, you will be building a rewarding career for yourself. Everyone who wears the uniform of the United States Army is sharing in a service that is vital to our country. To each belongs the individual dignity which has characterized Army career since the birth of our nation. In the Army, opportunity is open to all on an equal basis, affording its young members of today a chance to become the technical specialists, instructors, and leaders of tomorrow. You are urged to visit your local United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station at your earliest opportunity and ask about the technical careers of the United States Army. The need is urgent. You are listening to Proudly We Hail, and now we present the second act of The Day Nothing Happened. Sergeant Ralph Wilson is about to lead a reconnaissance patrol in Korea, mission to find the main line of Kami resistance. But of course, Sergeant Ralph Wilson doesn't write about these little events in his correspondence to the folks back home, especially to a certain young lady. After all, reason Sergeant Wilson, all this is pure routine. So why bother making a fuss about it? Accordingly, that certain young lady gets the most uninteresting letters. Ma, Jane. Uh, no, Ma, I'm not coming home to dinner. No, 
No, I had a bike downtown with the girls. Oh, nothing. No, no, we just decided to go bowling. Uh, listen, Ma, I, I called to ask, was there any afternoon mail? Well, yeah, I know I got a letter from Ralph this morning, but, you know, there's always a chance. Well, to tell you the truth, I didn't feel much like going bowling, but in his letter, Ralph wants to know if I'm keeping in practice. Huh? Oh, no, Ralph says he's fine. He's all right. Yeah, nothing much doing where he is. Well, that, that makes me very happy. Well, uh, listen, Ma, I'm going to be a little late. I promised Ralph's mother I'd stop over there tonight for a little while. Oh, uh, okay, Ma. Well, listen, I got to get back to the game now. It's, it's my tur turn to bowl. Huh? <laughs> no, I'm never going to get that good. Ralph will still be able to beat me when he gets back. Okay, Ma. Bye, Ma. Okay, girls, my turn. Ah, uh, watch this. <laughs> Wait for Greeny. Yeah, I thought you'd never signal for us to come up. I think it's safe to move out now. We've got to get away from this outpost. Now look, we'll crawl out to the left about 200 yards, and then we'll cut in toward them again. Yeah, I don't like it, Wilson. It's too quiet. Oh, would you like it better if they were shooting? I'd like it better if I was home. Oh, now, Collins, you know you don't mean that. Deep in your heart, you love this. Wouldn't you ever have it so wonderful? Yeah, I hate to break this up, guys, but we have work to do. How do you feel, Chick? This little piece of ground has become like home to me. I hate to leave it. One battalion draws up the new combat maps tomorrow. We'll ask him to label this spot Ham Tram. Follow me. it look like? It looks like some guy smoking a cigarette. That's exactly what it is. Then this must be the line, Sarge. Yeah, I would say so. Sure, you can hear him jabbering. What do those guys talk about? What do we talk about? Okay, fellas, the outpost is near the rise, and the main line is located right near the base of the hill. So this is it, huh, Sarge? Yeah. Now we can go home. You mean... That's all there is to the patrol? Anything you'd like to do while we're here, Chick? Make a call, go in someplace for a midnight snack? Come on, gang. It's all over except for one little detail. Oh, yeah? What? Just getting home. All right. Sounds like somebody's in a bad mood. Hey, you notice that cigarette? You can't see the glow anymore. Yeah, I bet the guy got it good for smoking. Yeah, good thing we saw it. Could have blundered into somebody's fox. Hey, Wilson, hole. guys uh, coming. Yeah, just in front of us. Hmm. There's four, five, eight guys headed this way. Looks like the commies are sending out a patrol, too. Wilson, they're headed this way. They're going to walk right on top of us. Hey, Wilson, we can't stay here. If we shoot, we'll be spotted. Just don't get excited. They're going to pass by us about 20 yards to the left. Keep low. He didn't see us, Wilson. Wilson, off to the right, there's more of them. And down a line. Yeah, looks like they're mounting a sneak attack on our positions. Oh, great, if our guys spot them and open up, where does that leave us? The answer is we got to get home before they do. Right, and we'll go with them. Now, let's start moving back. Crouch and walk fast. They can't make us out in the dark. Come on, now, think we're part of their attack. Well, look at us. We're in a new army. You take Hey, should we answer him? What can we say? I wish I knew what he was saying. Isn't this great material for your book? Hey, Sarge. Off to the left way up ahead, it's old platoon. Hey, these guys mean business. Yeah, they're sure to reach our lines before we do. Oh, I hope our guys are asleep. What am I saying? Well, it's no good, guys. Come on, we're gonna get caught in the middle of things anyway. This attack has got to be spotted for sure another couple hundred yards ahead. Sarge! Ain't there anything we can do? If we don't want to be caught homeless out here, we'd better dig in. I, I will never have time. No, no, I didn't mean that. 
I know where there should be a nice hole with a shelf underneath against mortar and artillery bursts. Where, Sarge? Where? The red outpost we passed on our way in. That's for us. Yeah, I know about that apartment, Sarge, but I think someone else holds the lease. Yeah? Well, they're about to be evicted. Now, look, it's off to the left, just behind that rise. Keep crouching, and we'll move up to it. They'll have to think we're part of their own attack moving up. Can we get away with it? Well, you said you wanted to be back in Hamtramck. That's where we're headed for. the outpost. They're dug in just up ahead. Uh, sounds quiet. Grenades ready. If we use grenades, everybody will hear the noise. And if we can't get into that hole, we are in trouble. I'm worried about something else. Yeah. How come we don't hear shooting up on our own lines? Well, maybe our guys haven't spotted the attack yet, Sarge. Then we got to warn them. These commies are great for infiltrating. <coughs> yeah, somebody in there, all right. Yeah. Anybody here call Chen? Chen! Now's the time to put up or shut up. Grenades. Throw them, hit the dirt. When they go off, make a rush. Chen? Now! Let's go! <laughs> ah, looks like there's no one left here to argue about anything. Hey, our grenades woke people up all right. That's yeah, one of our heavy 30s. Well, these guys dig a nice hole, don't they? Nice shelf on the bottom to crawl under in case of overhead bursts. Sarge, look, the commies are falling back. Yeah, our people spotted them just in time. Well, this isn't a private party. Everybody can get in. <laughs> yeah, come dressed as you are. Rapid fire. If his machine gun on here is still working. Try it. A shame to let a thing like that go to waste. Yeah, now let's see. According to the course we had in enemy weapons, ah, where's the bolt on this hey, thing? There's a gang of them headed this way. We could use that gun. These rifles aren't enough. Yeah, I'm trying to see how it loads. Yeah, hurry it up. Yeah, let me. I'm a machinist. Back home, there wasn't nothing I couldn't take apart. Well, take over, Shick. Oh, there's nothing to it. You just push down this lever. Well, explain it. Do it. Where's the ammo? Here they come, and do they look sore? Collins, Grady, let's hear those rifles. I got it, I got it. Oh, now what's the matter? Work the ball, see what happens. They're swinging wide, trying to get back to their own lines. Okay, Shake, rest. Let's get out of here. Our boys heard this gun. They probably figure there are commies behind it. We better beat it before they plaster this place with mortars. Come on. Yeah, and I hope they're expecting us, Wilson. Keep moving. Hold it! We got a patrol out there. Eddie, it's us! Give the password. Eddie, you know us. He's doing the right thing, Chick. Dubuque. Iowa. Come on, Wilson. Hi, fellas. How was it? You should have been here. They just attacked. Where were you? Everybody okay? Yeah. We heard some shooting and we spotted them a hundred yards out. They didn't have a chance. Hey, Schick, how was the patrol? Oh, uh, nothing to it. <laughs> Good thing we heard you firing out there, Wilson. We stopped them dead in their tracks. Mark the positions on the map. Yes, sir. Now, uh, this right here was the location of their outpost. Mm-hmm. I'll mark that ham tramic. And a nice big X by the base of the hill. There we are. That's the main line of resistance. Good. Hastings, run this back to battalion. And uh, Sergeant Wilson. You and the rest of the patrol spend the night back here at the command post. Grab some hot coffee and a few hours sack time. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm going to turn in myself. You want the light going? If you don't mind, sir. I uh, have a letter I'd like to finish. A letter? All right, Sergeant Wilson. 
Uh, Wilson, tell me something. What do you find to write about every day? Hey, I have to tell my girl everything, don't I? Good morning, East Coast Electrical Products. Oh, hi, Marge. Oh, uh, no, nothing. Nothing. Oh, I got a letter from Ralph. Yeah, he's all right. He doesn't write much. He says nothing's been happening. Um, let's see. The night was pretty quiet. We sneaked out on a patrol. Ran into a little noise. Got back all right. Yeah. Well, I'm certainly glad things are quiet where he is. Hey, you want to go shopping tonight? I'd like to buy Ralph a sweater. Young man, why not let a thought for tomorrow be your thought for today? In selecting your life's work, it's important to consider all of the requirements of a satisfactory career, opportunities for advancement, dignity and importance of your work, permanence of your job, living standards, retirement benefits, and value of experience. When you choose a career in the United States Army, you'll find it's more than just another means of earning a living. Your Army career will be a way of life, rich in fine associations, the satisfaction that stems from public service and the opportunity for achievement and adventure in the far corners of the world. Right now, your Army needs qualified technicians in such interesting fields as radio, radar, meteorology, photography, and many, many other skills. You can be trained to do a job and thus build a career that will be of great benefit to you for the rest of your life. So, why not let a thought for tomorrow be your thought for today? Visit your nearest United States Army and United States Air Force recruiting station right away and ask about the career opportunities in the United States Army. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail, presented transcribed in cooperation with this station. Proudly We Hail is produced by the Recruiting Publicity Center for the United States Army and United States Air Force Recruiting Service. This is Kenneth Banghart speaking and inviting you to tune in this same station next week for another interesting story on Proudly We Hail. <laughs>